I share that I was sexually abused at 13, but that's not when I started personal growth. It wasn't actually until I was doing year 12 that I was struggling and someone came up to me and said, look, I think we need to go to a doctor because I think you're depressed. And that was a peer that I didn't even really have any interaction with. So if someone who I hardly knew was saying that, I, I looked into it. And unfortunately, I was diagnosed with depression by the doctor and given meds. And I told my mum, who had also experienced depression. And um, I'm the oldest of seven, so there's a lot of kids when I was living at home. And I was trying to do my year 12 homework whilst being on depression meds in the kitchen on the table. And my brothers were running because it was one of those awesome houses where you could do a full lap of the house and not have to like go back, you could go all the way around. So they were playing chasey, right, looping, and they kept bumping me, I couldn't concentrate. And I've just gone to my mum, can you ask the boys to go play chasey outside? And she wasn't having a very good day, and fortunately what she said to me was, I'm not gonna ask my kids to change just because you're crazy. And that was a sentence she doesn't even remember saying, but it happened for me, as you were talking about things happening for us. And in that very moment, I walked into my bedroom, grabbed out the depression meds because they were not doing anything apart from making me feel numb. And I took them outside and I stomped on them and I was like, there has to be a better way because how can you go through life hating life? Like That is not a life. There has to be a way to learn to love life. Have I told you lately that I love you?